This lesson provides two examples on how to evaluate indefinite integrals using the method of u substitution. Analyzing the first integral, we need to determine what to let u equal, and there's two hints here. Because the denominator contains a base of nine minus e to the power of x, the derivative of nine minus e to the power of x is going to resemble the numerator of e to the x. We also want the base of nine minus e to the x to be equal to u because it's raised to the power of seven. So we'll begin by letting u equal the quantity nine minus e to the power of x, and now we determine du, where du is equal to the derivative of nine minus e to the power of x, which is zero minus e to the x, or just negative e to the x, and then times dx. Notice we don't have negative e to the x times dx as part of the integral. We just have e to the x times dx, and therefore we'll divide both sides by negative one, which gives us negative du equals e to the x dx. So now, we can substitute u for nine minus e to the x, and we can substitute negative du for e to the x dx. Writing the integral in terms of u, again, e to the x dx is equal to negative du, let's factor out the negative, and then because u is equal to nine minus e to the x, the integrand function is now just one divided by u to the seventh. To apply the power rule of integration, we will write one divided by u to the seventh as u to the power of negative seven. And now we integrate, applying the power rule of integration, which gives us negative, and then u to the power of negative seven plus one, which is negative six, divided by negative six plus c. Simplifying, we can write this as positive one-sixth, u to the power of negative six plus c, which in terms of x is one-sixth times the quantity nine minus e to the power of x raised to the power of negative six plus c. And finally, if we want to, we can write this using a positive exponent. This is equivalent to one divided by the product of six and the sixth power of nine minus e to the x plus c. And let's go ahead and label the antiderivative using big F of x. This is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function. And now looking at the second example, because the derivative of natural log x is equal to one divided by x, and we have an x in the denominator, we will let u equal natural log x. So if u is equal to natural log of x, du is equal to the derivative of natural log x times dx, which is one divided by x dx. And now looking back at the integral, we now know we can substitute u for natural log x, which means the numerator can be written as u to the fourth. Notice here our denominator is five x, not x, but we can go ahead and factor out the five from the denominator by factoring out one fifth. And we also know we can substitute du for one divided by x dx. So can let's first factor out the one fifth. So we have one fifth times the integral and then again, the numerator is now u to the fourth. And one divided by x dx is now just du. And getting with respect to u, we have one fifth times u to the fifth divided by five plus c, which is equal to one twenty fifth u to the fifth, but u is really natural log x, which gives us one twenty fifth times the fifth power of natural log x plus c. This is the antiderivative, meaning this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function, which is the fourth power of natural log x divided by five x. I hope you found this helpful.